Welcome back. This morning on the Breakfast Club, we're also meeting a group of Indians who could soon be part of a human spaceflight mission that's going to create history. Titan Space Industries, a global space company, has brought together scientists, engineers and astronaut candidates from across the world, including India. Joining us are four of them. Dr. Venkat Ramana Vijay, astronaut designate, COO and chief engineer. Titan Space is with us this morning. Good morning, sir. Janvi Dangeti, astronaut candidate and the first Indian to complete NASA's International Air and Space Program also joins us this morning. Okay, also on the screen and you can see all of our guests at the bottom of the screen. You're already on screen. Hi guys, good morning. Dr. Uh, Swayam Jyoti is with us. He's Hello. an astronaut candidate. Hello. With a strong background Hello. in research and innovation. And we're also joined by Vaibhava. Vaibhava Lakshmi Ravi Deshik is another astronaut candidate from India preparing for future missions. So all four of you are going to be going up into space in 2029. But let's understand exactly how this is going to happen and what Titan Space actually is. Dr. Vijay, we could come over to you to understand this. A, tell us about this mission. So, 2029, when in 2029, how are you preparing for it right now? It's 2025, uh, four years, three and a half years more of preparation. What will that preparation look like and what is the actual mission? Well, good morning and thank you for having Titan Space here this morning on your Breakfast Club. Um, we are happy to be here. And um, to answer your question, we tentatively have a date set for March of 2029. And uh, we are preparing, we need that time because we need to prepare all the astronaut candidates. We're not taking two or three astronaut candidates as is usually the case with vertical rocket launches. So um, our space mission is very unique in that it's going to be a hybrid between uh, a space plane and a, and a rocket. So we're going to depart horizontally, take off horizontally and land horizontally, just like an airplane. It's just that when we go up into the atmosphere, then we fire our rocket engines and then we go out into the orbit. So the flight's going to be about three to five hours total. There will be about three hours worth of um, zero gravity, you know, floating time, so to say. Um, and then we come back down and land on a designated runway, uh, just like an airplane lands at an airport. We need the time to prepare. Uh, in the sense we have infrastructure to build, we have certification and testing to do. That's on the structural side of things. But on the human side of things, we have 50 astronaut candidates that will be going with us, maybe more. And we need to train all of these people. There are several gates and there are several uh, um, uh, training modules that they have to go through. Um, whether it's medical, psychological, physical, uh, and, and so on, even research modules that they have to go through. So that takes us about two and a half years. And the first year is all about physical training. The second year is a little bit more about psychological training and uh, zero gravity preparation. And it also involves certain research projects that each of these astronaut candidates will be performing on board. And uh, I am sure each one of them can describe uh, their various uh, uh, projects that they're going to do, very interesting yeah, yeah. projects. But, which but will Dr. Vijay, which stage even... of the preparation currently are you at? Quickly, if you can answer that for we us. Are... Yes, uh, from, a, from a, an infrastructure point of view, we are in the process of acquiring um, certain infrastructures that are provided by the government of the United States in various locations. And once uh, that's obtained, I will be a little bit more free to talk about those. Okay, but okay. Um, at the moment, uh, yes, uh, we are securing infrastructure and on the astronaut candidate side, we have interviewed people from Australia, Africa, Europe, uh, especially India. And uh, we're all getting them together to start training from January 1st of 2026. Okay, let's ask, let's go over to the candidates now to understand more. Jahanvi, if we can come to you first and understand. A, what was it like to come to know that in less than five years from now, you know, you ask people, what's your five-year yeah. plan? You in less than five years are going to be going out to space. What does that feel like? Tell us that and tell us what the plan is over the next few years. So, hi everyone. Thanks for the opportunity. And uh, well, uh, of course, it's exciting, but I see it as a responsibility and an opportunity. It shows that uh, well, uh, 
the time limit is uh, five years, but every second counts in because uh, whatever we do till today uh, is a whole different thing. What we are going to do from uh, the next year, it's going to be uh, shaping us into something uh, that's going to contribute to space. And it's, as I said, it's exciting at the same, at the same time, uh, so much responsibility and uh, like when you are committed and willing to learn, uh, it's important that you have to uh, understand uh, how uh, heavier it is, uh, mainly such opportunities and I'm focused on using this platform to contribute meaningfully and represent India professionally and show that the young minds can add real value to the future of space exploration, not just uh, elite minds, anyone from STEM can go to space and that's what we are trying to prove when space is for everyone. Wow, lovely Janvi. I must ask this to Dr. Swayam Jyoti since you're going to be on the, that mission to Dr. Swayam Jyoti. Tell us, does a little bit of pressure also come into play, especially given how the entire nation has been obsessed with the Shubhanshu Shukla's uh, space journey. Everybody's talking about what experiments he performed, what are the takeaways going to be. When it comes to space, there is a certain curiosity that comes with it in the mind of any Indian. Does that add to the pressure? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's a uh, pressure. It's a privilege, I would say. Wow. Uh, and uh, we are looking for it to build upon the legacy of Rakesh Sharma and Subhanshu Shukla. So they are uh, role models and our inspiration that the nation is proud of. So when uh, we have such kind of responsibility, I think it's a privilege rather than pressure. Lovely answer. Okay, let's go over very quickly to Webhava also to understand more. Webhava, can we ask you, how did you get selected? Walk us through, because there are going to be audience members who are asking, how can we go to space? Uh, right now, when earlier in the answer, Dr. Vijay was answering, he said, so far 50. So does that mean more can join? Tell us the answer, Webhava. How did you become a part of this? And have you met the other candidates? Are there things that they all have in common? Uh, so first of all, I... Uh, I saw a post about Titan Space Industry and their inaugural mission on LinkedIn. Uh, that is how I just got excited. I visited their website and then I applied and I got in. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think there will be many more people joining us and I'm indeed really excited about that. And we do have a lo lot of like task forces within the Titan Space Industries. So we will be contributing towards the uh, multiple R&D projects okay. that will be like undertaken by Titan Space. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm more than excited. <laughs> Dr. Vijay, would you want to tell us? Because if it's that easy that you go to the official website, you know, you spot uh, Titan Space, you go for it, you follow the procedure and you apply. If you get selected, <laughs> you know, luck's had your way. But uh, tell us, that's, what, what are you looking for? Awesome. An astronaut <laughs> candidates, you're open to more in number going forward. What should be the qualification yes, criteria, yes, etc. Tell us all about it. Yes, we are. And uh, that's a very optimistic take. And yes, um, we are very focused on um, creating opportunities for everyone. Titan Space is all about space for everyone, regardless of age, regardless of financial background or geographical background. So um, we have chosen astronaut candidates in about in, in three categories, um, simplistically speaking. Uh, the first category uh, are people who have uh, tons of experience in the space industry, have worked for aerospace industry for a long time, and they have gathered a lot of skills and knowledge and experience. The second category are people who have uh, amassed uh, a lot of scientific work, research that benefits humanity, and they have uh, advanced degrees such as masters, double masters or PhD and so on. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, we have the third category of people who are youngsters who need to be mentored. So uh, Titan Space's astronaut program is a mentorship program. And that's very unique and it's unlike any other program in the world in the history of space travel. So uh, we take people in the third category who are from um, STEM background, who have shown dedication, hard work, and have shown initiative 
towards uh, obtaining some form of space experience or space training such as analog astronaut missions or working with space uh, companies or working in laboratories in the uh, in institutions that have uh, active space research going on and so on uh, the whole idea is that in the three and a half years as you mentioned all of these junior astronaut candidates are going to be mentored by the senior astronaut candidates so that on the day of launch hopefully everybody will be on the same level wow so we encourage everyone who is of a stem background of course that's going to change uh, in a few years we would love to take people from an art and humanities background as well wow uh, we're not going to restrict anything in terms of background and uh, no one will be turned away without being given a proper uh, evaluation so i encourage everybody from every part of the world especially india to apply we would give you a feedback we are planning on getting an academy going and uh, we would like a lot of people to join the academy it's it's of course free as is the astronaut training it's completely free uh, it's sponsored by the company and um, so hopefully uh, a lot of the talent and a lot of uh, initiated people will enroll and we will train them and give them the opportunity to move over into the astronaut mm. program doctors uh, let me just ask you to wait for a second i want to understand if we have a minute more on this segment to ask all right i think we've run out of time we'd like to thank all of you for joining us here on the club but also all of you best of luck for this trip we're really excited just to see it because this is the first chapter in what space tourism yeah. and just space curiosity looks like so thank you for joining and us and can i thank just say on a lighter time. note i love the designation astronaut Pleasant. candidate yeah. it just yeah. makes one feel so much more responsible that you're being trusted yeah. with these kind of space missions Yeah. So thank you all of you and uh, uh, with that we are going to head into a very quick break we'll be right back with more we're not done yet be right back <laughs>